My favourite people in the world are the poets that write about mundane things. The pains of trains and automobiles, and that every man's land between hitting snooze for the third time and pouring your first cup of black non-coffee. That's me. Unemployed philosopher with a bachelor's degree in commuting and a big fan of toasted sandwiches. I'm no Charles Bukowski or Jonathan Martin, but I make my little contributions to the global ticker tape, 140 characters at a time. The cold grey skies bring out the veteran Heathcliff complex which resides in me. Near the surface, always ready to rise. Bill Hicks said that. We are ramshackle moments under overcast heavens. I said that. I'm on my way to a poetry reading by Jonathan Martin, poet laureate of the American welfare system and a hero to people like me. Everything was beautiful and nothing hurt. Kurt Vonnegut said that. Wonder if Kurt ever gains Ireland. Wonder what he made of it. Jonathan Martin's never come to Ireland before. His poetry collection Wonder Walkers never really sold here, so he had no reason to. He deserves better than his reading being in an upstairs of a shitty pub in Bray but I'm glad the king of the dull poets finally made it paddy side. Hmm, still never to go. I don't smoke. In fact, I don't even know why I'd try. It's just this particular brand. Probably because she used to smoke them. No. We constantly create concrete images of people, places and things. When those change, the images don't disappear. They just adapt. We build it up tear it down and put it back together. Wash, rinse, repeat. To be honest, I'm not sure why poetry and books have such an effect on people. We read these carefully constructed sentences in search of comfort or something just as abstract. We let ourselves believe that we have the ability and vocabulary to express our deepest feelings in twisty fancy phrases and long monologues, just like the writers do. Christ help those who try. The truth is we may try to scribble down lovely personal parables, but most of the time we're lucky to get out just one sole syllable. Oh, 